This video is for Bob O. Got this compressor hooked up, man. I'm getting ready to call it a night, bro. Thought I'd try this out, because I am also very interested in the question. Can one of these devices run a waste oil burner? I have a nozzle hooked up for the siphon tank. We're just gonna do a down and dirty test. I've just now gotten it hooked up. I'm gonna plug the thing in. And we're going to see if it does something. If something decent happens, then we'll worry about pressure gauges and all that nonsense. So let's check it out. Okay, I've got it turned on. And one thing I know about these compressors is that they've got to build up pressure before they'll pump air. Okay, nothing yet starting to build up and that's how it'll go here it goes as soon as it builds up a little pressure the device will pump air there's a little valve in there that needs back pressure to work I'm almost positive we're not there yet I can tell by the way it sounds Maybe if I pinch the line periodically somehow. I need a way to get the air pressure without going into the oil. Turn that. Nothing yet. Dude, that almost got a siphon. So, I don't know if it's just not reaching the back pressure state that we need for it to work right, or what's going on here. That just doesn't feel right to me, that output. end up blowing a line. Yeah, so, so far from what I feel, that's nowhere near enough air. However, I could have swore, I don't know. I'm gonna shut this down a minute. So, the last time I had this pump hooked up, I could have swore that as soon as the back pressure built up to significant levels, the discharge would increase significantly. And I don't know if I'm just not able to achieve that or if that is in fact the full output of this compressor. These are the specifications. I don't know what one pH means. It's on a lot of these things. This one also says one pH. You think that's uh, Chinese or Japanese for one horsepower? One power horse. I don't know how they say that. You know how some languages are backwards, the vernacular, or the syntax. So, there it is. That was a quick little test. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Um, I almost swore these things put off a little more air than that. But as we see here, uh, that doesn't appear to be the case. Now, I can make this thing pump oil, a wood siphon oil, but I doubt it'd be enough to run a burner based on what I'm feeling there. Um, that's extremely low amount of air. Very small amount. So something could be wrong. This compressor did come out of an air conditioner that doesn't work. So let's keep that in mind. So I'm gonna probably try and hook this one up because I could have swore last time I ran this one that it would crank out 60 PSI's on one of these air nozzles, if I can find it. I'm not prepared for this. Well, it was a hand nozzle, but something similar to this. One of these little air blowers. I was able to get 60 PSI's out of this thing. I have the video of it, and I did leave you a link to that, but uh, other than that, Bob, I don't know. 
if this is uh, gonna work out. As I said, this came out of a broken air conditioner. The one that I got my radiator for my torch out of. And that could be the reason it's not pumping as much air. Typically when an air conditioner breaks, this isn't the problem. But I don't know how right I am in saying that. I could be totally wrong. This is not the typical compressor. However, I think we're gonna have to chop one of these things open either way and see what the hell's going on inside there, but uh, it's a no-go on the pump. We needed enough air to at least pump that oil. And I'll give it one more shot, maybe tinker with it tomorrow, but uh, I'm done for the day, man. It's late. I gotta go. That did not work. But now we know what won't work so far. As I said, not done messing with us. 